One of the new features in the Xbox One X April 2018 update is support for Auto Low Latency Mode. Most people know Auto Low Latency Mode is game mode. It's a mode on your TV that bypasses the video processing and color correction to deliver you lower input lag. For gaming on first person shooters or fighting games or driving games or other games that have quick input responses, you want low input lag because it'll make your movements on the screen more carefully mimic what you're doing on a controller. When you watch movies or TV, you don't want to have this mode enabled because it reduces the overall image quality and it gives you a worse viewing experience. The problem has always been that you have to turn game mode on and off, and as more people use their consoles for things beyond just gaming, it means you're having a lower image quality or a lower gaming experience. Auto input lag adjustment is going to go through and make it that when you start playing a game, your TV changes into game mode, and when you stop, it changes out. It's an HDMI 2.1 feature, but it can be rolled back into HDMI 2.0 chipsets with a firmware update. And one of the first TVs with support for this is the Samsung NU8000 that I'm using here. Most of the other Samsung TVs this year support this as well, but I haven't tested it yet. And the other TVs I've tested so far this year lack support at the moment for this. So if I go into my account, go to settings, Display, video output, video modes. We see allow auto low latency mode is checked. If your TV does not support this, this box will be grayed out, like allow variable refresh rate and allow 3D are grayed out here. The Samsung TVs are also gonna be able to support variable refresh rate later this year, according to Samsung and Microsoft, but it's not enabled at this point. So I'll back out to the menu again. We'll look at the Samsung menu fast. And here we see our picture mode is movie. And so we know that we're in the accurate mode that we want to watch most things in. So I'll go to Netflix. This will take just a second to go ahead and boot. And here I am watching an episode of Chef's Table France. I go back over. I am in movie HDR mode now. So I'm still in the most accurate mode. I have the most accurate colors best blacks, best contrast ratios, the Samsung is set up ideally for watching movies and TV now. If I go back to the quick menu and launch Forza 7, game mode is now turned on. If I pop up that menu, we see the picture is in game mode HDR and it's grayed out because you aren't able to adjust any settings in game mode since game mode is all about having the quickest processing time and the lowest input lag and so adjusting anything would be detrimental to that. We can see it still looks fantastic being in HDR, of course, in 4K. The white balance is a little off. It's now bluish instead of the D65 we go for with movies and TV. But for video gaming, most people are gonna be happier to have that lower input lag and better responsiveness than they are to care about how accurate their white balance is. If I quit out and go back to home, we see game mode has turned itself back off. So now I don't have to do anything. As I play video games, my TV switches the correct modes automatically. If I stop and watch a movie or TV, it goes back to the accurate picture modes that I want to use for that. So right now, this is supported on the Xbox One X that I've tested. Uh, people have told me that it works fine on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One S. For TVs right now, it looks to be only Samsung's at the moment that I've gotten confirmation on this working with. I've tested with some others and it hasn't worked, but this Samsung NU8000 works just fine with it and offers very low input lag around 15 to 18 milliseconds for gaming.